Helping to keep outdoor recreation safe is the job of recreational protective service workers such as lifeguards or members of the ski patrol or those who monitor other recreational areas. A big part of these jobs is preventing accidents. Be careful when you go off the point here, sir, that um, the, the, the soft snow has been bunched up into piles of moguls. You know. Protective service workers warn people about unsafe conditions and discourage risky behavior. And when mishaps happen, they are specially trained to respond. Lifeguards constantly scan the waters for anyone who might be in trouble. If they spot someone in danger, they dive into action. They may use flotation devices, ropes, poles, or specially designed wave runners to rescue a struggling swimmer. In addition to being strong swimmers in excellent physical condition, lifeguards must pass life-saving and CPR certification courses. Okay. Ski patrollers safeguard skiers and snowboarders by maintaining trails and marking those that are unsafe. All right, there's a blanket. They help to educate an unsafe skier or attend to someone in distress. Ski patrollers rarely work alone. Collisions and falls at 30 to 40 miles per hour down a ski slope can result in severe injuries. Stabilizing hurt skiers and getting them quickly to professional medical help takes well-rehearsed teamwork. Ski patrollers must be able to ski safely and efficiently in any weather through any terrain, often loaded down with heavy rescue gear. They are usually CPR certified and often must have EMT certification as well. Many ski patrollers are volunteers. Some large resorts use a combination of volunteers and paid patrollers. If you love to swim or ski, these jobs are one way to make that passion pay off. Since most work is seasonal, it's ideal for anyone looking for temporary employment with a good paycheck. Recreational protective service workers come from many different walks of life, but all are committed to promoting fun and safety on the slopes or on the water. I need to see